Hey everybody, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Division 2 beta. For those of you unaware, the open beta is live right now between March 1st and March 4th. So I jumped in here and played for an hour or so just to get a feel for things, and I kinda wanna give like my first impressions and my thoughts of Division overall, and just kinda let you guys know that this will be something I will be playing. Not sure how much content I'll be covering it on the channel, but uh, if I'm playing it, I'm obviously going to come up with some video ideas, so you could probably expect to see it on the channel. The actual release date for the game is going to be dropping March 15th, but if you buy the, the deluxe edition or whatever, you get uh, early access for March 12th. So that's really only about 10 days away from the time of this video, so it gives you something, uh, another looter shooter to look forward to, which is actually quite exciting. For those who haven't played The Division 1, I do want to give like a little back history with it, because I played it for about 80 hours i bought the digital deluxe edition and stuff like that and i have to say i absolutely fell in love with the atmosphere and the graphics of the first one because you're in the snowed in city and the snow effects in that game were absolutely stunning and me living in canada i, I love winters it just something felt so right about it cracking open the window at, at in winter letting the cold breeze come in while you're playing the division two or division one in a uh, cold frosty city it was very very atmospheric and very immersive. Now, the game did ha suffer the, the usual end game uh, lack of content that most loot and shooters suffer from these days. I don't know what it is, but it seems like we cannot seem to get a loot and shooter done properly. So I blasted through all of Division 1, and let me tell you, I did everything. Every single collectible, every single quest, every single event, anything that you can do in the Division 1, I did it, and I did it all in about 80 hours of gameplay. Then I had the season pass, but I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And by the time the seasons dropped, the season passes dropped, I kind of already written the game off in my mind, and I didn't really go back. I think I went back and tried one of the new strongholds or whatever they were called, the dungeons or raids. And it was pretty good, but at that point, the I, it was I was already written it off in my mind. So hopefully, I'm looking at the Division Two as they learn from their mistakes. This they get a second go at this. Is it going to be? Is it going to suffer from the the same problems as the division one i would think not because they have a second go at this let's have our fingers crossed at least there's a season pass they're doing the exact same thing as before they're selling 150 dollar edition right out of the gate um you know but is there in-game content is there when we hit max level is there plenty of stuff for us to do have they addressed the issues that the first game suffered from these are all questions we don't really know until we actually get our hands on the game and play through it and, and see the end game. And that is something I will be doing myself and I'll be letting you guys know through fit videos. So if you're unsure, uh, well, I'll probably have blasted through the game by the time you, by the time it actually launches, depending how quickly I can do it, but I have three days early access. So if I go hard, hopefully I can get through the main story and we'll see where I stand uh, by release and I can give my thoughts and opinions on where the game is at today. But how do I feel about the game as is for like initial, you know, one hour of playing on the beta. Well, it looks and feels like The Division, but I have to say that atmosphere of the snowy city, it's not there now. It's it's most, it's most dry, it's post-apocalyptic. It kind of has a little bit of the Last of Us feel that everything's kind of overgrown. It's a little bit gritty, um, it's, but it does have its own uniqueness to it. For me, though, it does feel like a bit of a downgrade for whatever reason, because I was just so much more in love with the snowy city atmosphere. It just something about it really touched me whereas this one it's just feeling like a post-apocalyptic city which isn't bad but as atmospherically speaking it's a downgrade for me i would think but i still think it's a beautiful game division looks like a, an amazing game but there's something about that snow rendering effects that they had in the first one that somewhat covered up gritty textures that aren't this time so for example there's just like certain sidewalk textures and building textures and things that just stand out a little bit and I think it's just because the sunlight is exposing all the textures for you know their, their pure fidelity they're not covered up by snow there's more flaws and things seeping through the cracks where for me the texture quality doesn't seem to be on par or as mesmerizing as the first one for whatever reason and uh, so it does feel like a downgrade overall in the graphics but still an amazing looking game overall tons of detail tons of props and just lots of 
just jam-packed environments. So I still think it's a very top quality game, but there's something about it that just feels like a downgrade. Now, in terms of gameplay, I got to play around with some of the abilities. I picked a drone and a turret, and I couldn't quite figure out the mechanics of the drone quite yet. It's going to be something that practice. You have to like tell it to go here to here, and it does like a dive bomb. Either way, it felt cool, and I can't even really remember the abilities in the Division 1, to, uh, to be honest. Like, I think, I think every character could pick like one or two abilities from a very limited set, and uh, I, I think everyone ended up just going with the same stuff, um, like some med pack or something. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it, it didn't doesn't resonate with me enough for me to actually remember when I can pretty much tell you every single ability in the game from Borderlands 2 from like 10 years ago. So it goes to say that Division 1 didn't have the greatest abilities, otherwise I would remember them. But looking at this, it looks like there's a bigger skill tree, there's a lot more abilities, cool things like deploying turrets, drones, and all sorts of neat things. And then there's apparently also classes. Once you hit max level, there's like a survivalist who's like a, a rogue. There's a demolitionist uh, that's self-explanatory. And then there's like kind of your marksman shooter that does sniping and assault rifles. So he's your your soldier, I guess. So that they, they definitely diversified the class system, the skill system. There's a lot of abilities. It seems a lot more in depth. Everything you, you can expect from the Division 1, but better. And from my from my memory, the Division 1 had really good aspects to it in terms of the loot and shooter, the exploration, and it had pretty solid gameplay overall. Now, the one thing that the Division suffers from is kind of the Tom Clancy IP, to be honest, because you're just killing terrorists all the time, just ba bandits, and, and there's no really interesting enemy types like you would expect from like a game like Halo, Destiny, or Anthem even, you know? There's just, it, it, it's a freaking Tom Clancy's game. It is what it is, right? But that's not exactly uh, necessarily a bad thing either. You have these tactical situations, like there were some dungeons or strongholds or whatever you want to call them in a Division 1 where guys are coming in through the glass from zip lines and they're surrounding you and they're they're pushing in on you and they're you know it, it gets really intense and you have to tactically position yourself and move as a squad and it can be very very fun and as long as you're cooperating with friends and using tactical situations to your advantage and abilities and everything that the game gives you then all of a sudden you're having fun cooperatively while also obtaining loot and that is that that is a formula for a fun game and i have to say that the division has its flaws like it's, it doesn't feel like the best gameplay mechanics it's a little clunky you go from position to position the melee is god awful um i you you it doesn't feel impactful at all i mean this is the beta but there are just certain things where i'm thinking uh it doesn't feel like the most amazing thing but then there are other abilities where i'm like this is really cool this is really fun so overall i think the gameplay is like good it's not groundbreaking but i think when you bring in a, t a squad and you put yourself in the situation and the way the level is designed and the combat situation that you're put against i think it's a formula for a ton of fun so regardless it doesn't need to be the next generation gameplay where you're flying around in a freaking javelin and raining destruction from the sky uh it doesn't need to be all that fancy bells and whistles as long as it has a solid gameplay progression and story and then end game and uh exploration and cooperation with your friends and it's looking to have that stuff after one mission i i called for backup with this thing and uh some guy came and joined me and we we're playing together and and uh even though we weren't communicating it was it seemed fun and um in terms of cosmetics they're giving you tons of emotes they're giving you tons of options like you don't just get one or two things like anthem gave us it's a full smorgasbord of cosmetics emotes and all sorts of stuff so it looks like it's going to be a, a full game and then they're going to add to it and now the downside to that is it is a season pass um but i ha i think that the the topic here with season passes i prefer it because when you get a games as a service and they give you a minimum value product like we did with anthem the game is unfinished there's no end game and then they promise you free updates when the team is basically stripped down to a skeleton crew because there's no promised income then you don't really get a good flow of consistent consecutive content when they say hey we're gonna charge you again another 20 bucks another 40 bucks they keep the big portion of the team on developing essentially an expansion pack another section of the game so you're not just getting division 2 you're getting division 2.1 2.2 and you have to pay for that so they're obviously going to keep on as many people on the team as possible to make sure that that content is quality because they are charging you for it and in some cases i prefer that i think it's a good it's a good model because 
because we know we could just give them our money and 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 we're gonna get a good product and looking back at what the division two ha or the division one had for season passes there were reports that the survival mode was groundbreaking it was so much fun um, all the updates were really good they just took a while to get out to us and they had uh, they had put a lot of resources into it and apparently it was really good and, you know uh, I, I I overall came out of the division one with a very positive experience and I, I thoroughly enjoyed my 80 hours with it and I, I you know wish I would have played more of the season pass now with the division two I'm hoping that that stuff the content comes out a little bit sooner we start getting those season pass pieces a little bit quicker and then the, the product that is deliver us to on day one is a much more polished polished product with more of an end game than the division one had let's hope they learn from their mistakes nonetheless I love collecting loot I love shooting and I love playing cooperatively and that's what my channel 5 gaming discord is all about we're playing games like Vermintide the uh, anthem we're gonna be playing the division here and there's a whole bunch of games that I layer on as we go and as people are requested so if you're into the division 2 you're thinking about picking it up join our discord and you know come talk to us about it come play the open beta with us check it out now I'm not going to be going too ham with the beta content I just wanted to dabble with it here today give my thoughts and where I stand with it all and show off a little bit of gameplay and let everybody know that we have a discord and when this game goes live I will in fact be playing it now that doesn't mean Anthem isn't going anywhere uh, a few days after this game drops early access Anthem gets a big update so I'll be going back and forth between the two but as you guys can tell with Anthem in its current state we're running out of stuff to do so this is this couldn't come at a better time and uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that this game delivers on the loot, loot and shoot aspects that we kind of wish that Anthem did deliver on and makes up for it because right now we need a win as a cooperative loot and shoot community and I'm hoping the division can deliver on that so my assessment here is it feels pretty solid not groundbreaking I think it's gonna be fun and it's played well well with friends and cooperatively I think it's gonna have these tactical moments that are memorable so overall I think it's worth a purchase I think it's worth a gamble but again it's a bit of a gamble you don't know but I can tell you I enjoyed the division one so if this is anything like the division one or just on par then it's worth it and if it's an improvement like it should be being the sequel then it should be even more worth it so I definitely think it's worth the gamble and I'm I'm going all in on this and uh, uh and I'm just gonna get it play it and have fun and you guys are more than welcome to join me I always always play with my discord members so uh feel free to join us on discord down below and subscribe for more division content because I'll be checking it out closer giving some tips and tricks my overall impressions and all that stuff but so far from an hour I think it's looking pretty solid boom there you guys go so go check out the division open beta you can play for free on PC I'm not sure about the consoles uh, join us on discord down below and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more division content and uh, all that good stuff all right everyone that's gonna do it for me here today thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video I don't